No, it's been very hard for us without having people to, to play for. And a violin walked into my life around my fourth birthday. And it was love at first sight. You know, it's, it's a need. You're not a, you're not a complete musician if you're just playing for yourself. It's, um, you, need, you need an audience to uh, sustain it, to, if you like, complete the circle. I think it's a very fundamental human need, um, uh, music and, and live music. It's um, particularly at, at a time when, um, you know, people are pretty, pretty anxious, pretty frazzled. I'm a special guest with the New York Philharmonic. I helped to develop the curation for this particular concert. This is like the enterprise of Red Truck. <laughs> and, uh, and so we roll up, we got our system down for setting up and doing all these things. We've, we've, we had a one rehearsal where I met all these guys, awesome New York Phil players who are so open to the music and bringing their excellence to it. And uh, we just hang out and play in different communities. Uh, around the city. It's a, it's a spiritual need. I think people, you know, I think as we're closeted up in our homes, dealing with the storm that is current events, um, we need an outlet. We need a place to put our feelings. We need a place to feel safe. We need a place to imagine another type of world. from the New York Philharmonic. We're going to start with a madrigal by Martineau. It was funny, before all this was happening, I was getting a little tired of touring, but it's, you, you really don't know what you've got until it's, until it's gone. Wait to hear it. This is Fiona Simon and Rob Reinhardt. Reinhardt from the New York Philharmonic. Philharmonic. It's so thrilling to be able to hear them up close and also... Rob Reinhardt, Curtis Stewart, Fiona Simon, I'm Anthony Costanzo, and we're the New York Philharmonic.